Jordan's RC is back with you, and I'm going to do something different today. Now, I did a hard body build for this truck. Hard body means, you know, hard body instead of Lexan like this, very thin, bendable Lexan. It's going to be a hard body, so thicker plastic, kind of like a model car, right? A lot of people actually put model car or model truck body, sorry, on these trucks. That's what I'm gonna do. I did do a Bronco body for this truck. That's why the pink motor's in there, because it was a purple body. Let's just say my wife doesn't know how to control the trigger that well yet, and it went right off the back side of my table and it's gone. So Got to build a new one for it. Don't know what I'm going to do yet. Maybe if you guys can leave a comment. And, you know, whatever trucks you think would be cool. You know, whether it's a Jeep, pickup, Chevy, GMC, Ford. Hopefully it's not a Ford. But, I mean, you know, if enough people want it, I'll do it. Sure. I don't hate Ford. I just, it's not my favorite. Um, Hummer. I don't know. Whatever you guys want to see built in detail too so as you can see on this truck here i do have a motor with all the exhaust you know alternator oil cap over here sorry oil filter distributor everything you know on there it looks awesome but i can do more i just didn't get that far because obviously it got destroyed so in the background you can see i have a couple cars here model cars that I have built. I do build model cars. I'm going to start a channel on that too as well. If you guys would like to see that as well, leave a comment and a like and subscribe and I'll set up a channel for model building too as well and detailing and how to make them look more real. But long story short, see if I can pick this up without breaking it tonight. So as you can see, it's got battery cables going from the battery, you know, to the proper areas of the car. The sports racing gauge on the top of the A pillar for the hood there, right here. That's all wired up. It's got an aluminum rad in there. And see if I can turn it without breaking it. The chassis is not in this car right now. It's not glued in because I do a lot of work to this one still. Let's see if I can get my pointer. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is an aluminum linkage right there that runs to the, through the back of the firewall, all through both of the carburetors, with a little return spring right there. Right there. You guys can see that. Anyway, it's just like the real car would have, right? Aluminum rad, there's aluminum piece in between the fan shroud and the actual rad itself, so it look, makes it look like it's aluminum, as well as I got the top aluminum plate here. So, yeah. This is my drag car if I was to have one in real life. This is what it would look like. It's even got on the drag, real drag cars. It's got the, uh, you can't see it that well. Let's see if I can. It's got the power shut off right there, negative and positive on the back. So, yeah, that's one of them. Just give me a sec here. Let me put this one down. <clears throat> You got the Subaru in the background. It uh, doesn't have engine display or anything. It's pretty dirty. I mean, I guess that's what a Subaru's supposed to look like, right? It does have an O2 sensor put in there. A little bolt there with the wire going all the way up. It does have some nice detailing to it. But again, it doesn't have engine display. It looks like it does from the bottom, but hood don't open. And yeah, this one was a fun build really detailed in the interior but unfortunately you really can't see it through all the dirt on the window or through the camera um what else here do i got a uh, fox body over here i built for my wife drag car she wants to race in real life soon here we'll be building one of those maybe i'll do that on the youtube channel too as well and it's got an aluminum rad it's got a custom built rad hose with bolts on it on each end so it looks like that it's actually it's actually bolted into the car and not just glued in um it's got the power shutoffs right there on the end of the bumper as well yeah this one's a pretty fun build 
Um, anyways, so a couple things that, you know, I can throw into this truck with a body on it, of course, to make it look more realistic would be like this battery here. Oh, geez. You are not going to see that, are you? Hmm. Uh, there, there we go. It says Delco right on the bottom there. Hearts, there you go. Delco. So it actually has got a battery brand on this little battery from a model kit, which is really cool. I still have to paint it. But um, before I paint it, I will drill holes near the terminals and put wires in it and paint it all up. So that will be the actual battery that goes in this truck. You know, something fun, cool, little nitrous tank here I built. It seemed better, but it's, you know, something cool to do. Um, this will be the rad for whatever truck this goes on. I also do things like, for example, bottom of the fuel tank. This will get glued there, so it's got the nut on the end, like a fitting, and then comes off and then through the fuel filter and off into the rest of the car. And that's all aluminum there too, so, and a real little tiny nut fitting on there. Tech Deck nut, believe it or not. Again, there's another piece from a Tech Deck you can use to do some detailing. So, um, here's a custom built rad hose for that green Impala that you saw I built as a drag car. So it's got both, looks like it's got and fittings on both ends of the, of the rad hose. Well, once you pop it on there and dab some glue on the ends, it's, once it sits in there, it looks pretty realistic. Um, yeah, so again, I would like to do a hard body build and do a custom paint job and do some even some lights maybe or something crazy and stuff so if you guys have any ideas on what kind of body i should build for this truck comment let me know and uh if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button thank you